What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm Derek, aka D Rock, to my. Still left. Still left. My friend Al, aka The Knit, aka The Mad Scientist. Al, say hello. What's up, YouTube, man? And this is another segment of what we call. But, but it was, was suited! Where we discuss all things poker related. Stuff from news, strategy, and just everything poker in general. So today's video is, is poker a sport? Al, is poker a sport? No. Thanks for listening. The skill game, Joe. Great. So why'd you have to lie to me? Okay. So we're going to talk about what constitutes a sport right you got to define your terms so we looked we did a little deep dive we came across a bunch of definitions of sport and there were commonalities in all those definitions so the five that we came upon that happened the most often in those definitions are physical exertion skill a competition a game meaning it's an activity governed by rules and customs and there's an entertainment factor. And would you say with the skill, there's a, did you say there was a mental aspect of that, a mental exertion aspect? Because that's the real touching point, I think, that really breaks this down. The definitions didn't really break down the difference between physical and mental skill. Oh, come on! But I think we should include it. Okay, fair enough, fair assumption. So that's the definition of sport to a broad range of what we've lived up. Um, poker, it's a game of skill in my opinion. Um, if you wanted to touch on certain aspects, does it hit, um, does it hit the physical exertion part? To me, this is where the sticking point comes. I don't think so. I don't think it meets the physical exertion criterion as like other sports do. Like if you think about football, football requires a lot of physical exertion. Sure. And nobody, I don't think would argue that, phys that football is a sport. Right. Great. Okay. Beyond pushing chips into the middle, how much physical exertion? Yeah, looking at your cards. I mean, yeah. but the argument that the poker, the recreational poker players would say is, you know, you go on a multi-day multi-day tournament, you know, for eight, twelve-hour sessions, you know, back to back to back days. You are mentally exhausted uh, after those days, and I think there could be a little coexistence between mental exhaustion and physical. Like when I'm from a day's work of work, if I'm not doing just by going to work and just dealing with stuff, after a 12 hour day, man, I'm, I'm physically tired because I'm mentally, I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. So isn't there some kind of correlation? There is, but that doesn't necessarily make your job a sport. It's true. Okay, so, what else? Skill. Hard to argue this one. Poker requires skill. And anybody that says poker doesn't require skill and it's a luck game, the stats don't bear it out. They're just straight up wrong. Poker absolutely requires skill. There's a reason that you keep seeing the same names at the top of leaderboards in poker tournaments, at the top of cash game statistics. You keep seeing the same names over and over again. There's a reason for that. And it's not because they're luckier than everybody right, else. Right, but you would, also, would you also agree that when it comes to measuring you know, who's a better poker player. The real factor is it's gotta be measured in an increment of time. It has to go over time to be proven, yeah. right? Because on any given session, any given day, I could win big against the best players right. in the world. Yeah, you're talking about the skill versus luck factor. Right. In the short term, anybody can get lucky. I Name your world-class poker player. I can sit down with them heads up and win once, maybe twice. But if you stretch that out over time, Say if we play twice a day, heads up for a year, 730 sessions. Am I more likely to be above or below 365 wins? Yeah, you're probably going to be below. Odds are I'm going to be below, and not just below, way below. So so that's where the skill comes in. So, all right, so that's skill. Um, definitely competition, there's no doubt about it. Poker, Everyone thinks they're the best. Yeah, poker is absolutely a competition. Um, you're playing for money. Obviously, in a tournament, you're playing for chips, you're playing for position at the table. But it's more than that, too. There's, there's the bragging rights aspect, sure. which is also a competition. You know, can you hold it over the head of your buddy that you made it further in a poker tournament? It's happened before. Yeah, it has happened before. Both ways. Okay. 
So yeah, poker is absolutely a competition. All right, and it's definitely a game. There's no argument there, right? There's a set of rules. Poker is a game. Uh, it's an activity governed by rules and customs. Absolutely, it's a game. Okay, and then the entertainment. I mean, it's all well, that's you know here or there, but some people find it entertaining, some people don't. So there's definitely an entertainment value of watching and participating both in poker. Right, both of them are entertainment factors. For me, I play more for the entertainment of it, um, more than the money. People love to watch poker. And before, say, 2002, 2003, who really knew that people would want to watch poker on TV? Thank you, ESPN. Being on ESPN doesn't make it a sport, though. I hear this argument a lot. Well, it's on ESPN. It has to be a sport. No. no. The no. E in ESPN stands for entertainment. It's entertainment and sports programming network. So they're more concerned with entertaining than whether something is actually a sport or not. And if you don't believe that, ESPN televised the World Tetris Championships. So, well, let's let. I think a lot of people also look at like game of like let's say chess. Right. Chess, you know, is recognized actually as a sport by the International Olympic Committee, and since like two thousand two. But there's no physical exertion in chess. Right. I have, um, you know, with all due respect to the IOC, they're wrong. Well, let's play chess. Um, chess is not a sport. They've created almost a new category, mind sport. Mind sport. For Poker me, is definitely a mind sport. It's a mind sport, yes. But does that make it a sport? For me, if you have to put a qualifier in front of the word sport... All you've done is create a separate category. You haven't included it under that umbrella of sport. You've just made a different umbrella. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, say chess is a sport. I mean, you could say, uh, give me another example of what was a gray area of the debate of sport. What in, is sport in that sport? arena, you'd be talking about backgammon, maybe. Is backgammon a sport? No. Not really. Is bridge a sport? So it's fair to say you would, overall, you would say poker is not a sport. Poker is a game of skill, um, right. which has a lot of elements that can fit it into the sports, but it's really lacking the key definition of sport, which is physical exertion, in your opinion. For me, the number one criterion of whether something is a sport or not is the physical exertion required for it, for it to exist mm -hmm. or to be played at any kind of high level. And poker just doesn't meet it. Getting tired over the course of a tournament, yeah, I get it. And the mental exhaustion can translate into physical, excuse me, physical exhaustion, but that doesn't really equate to physical exertion. So lacking that key term there, physical exertion, this is a game. It's a game of skill. It's a competition. It's entertaining. So it checks off all those boxes. But for me, the most important box is physical exertion, and poker just doesn't check that box. Well, so for me, poker is not a sport. Yeah, and I think that's where I think that's where that's really the the key area that this is why it's a debate in the first place. If we just were able to knock that part out of there, the mental exhaustion part of a long, stressful, uh, multi day tournament, you know, and the right. thinking at the table for hours on end. When you when you start crossing that area, if we were to eliminate that, poker's not a sport; it's right off the rip. So that's the real big debate there. I think bottom line is what people are trying to go, what keeps going back and forth: is poker a game of skill? Is it a game? Is it a sport? Yeah. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Absolutely. And I'm not even sure why this debate is even necessary. Does it really matter if poker's a sport or not? Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Have fun. You know, learn it. Get better at it. That's the skill aspect. Learn how much fun it is to, to beat your buddy in a tournament. That's the competition. It's entertaining. It's all those things. Poker's awesome. It doesn't have to be a sport to be awesome. It just doesn't. It's not a sport, folks. It's just not. Couldn't agree more. Al, I think uh, we'll leave it up to them. We'll see what happens in the comments. I know there's going to be a little bit of debate here because I know a lot of people that think this is a sport. And to them, I say, uh, it touches a lot on it. There's a lot of similar elements. But overall, right. I would tend to agree with my friend Al here that poker is not a sport. So without being too repetitive, thank you guys for watching. As always, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.